And so I said, okay, God. Well, you know, God, a lot of times speakers have this issue that they have the fear of speaking. And God hit me and said, son, they ain't got the fear of speaking. <laughs> you don't lost your mind. They got the fear of being perfect. <laughs> you ain't got the fear of public speaking. You know, they, they talk about the big fancy, well, I've been in the dictionary a little bit, glossophobia. That's what it's called. <laughs> right, I've, been in, I've been in my bag a little bit. You, know? <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? All like glossophobia. <laughs> but they said, yo, like, people rather not speak and rather die than speak. So I said, okay, well, let me look at the top things that people have struggled with when they're on their deathbed. And one of them is like, I wish I would have took more risk. I wish I would have left with my dreams. I wish I would have never listened to people that didn't understand where I was going. A lot of you right now, I want to I let you know that you are in an environment today to where it's going to become holy ground. I'm just setting the atmosphere for you. Because we're going to slow it down to speed it up. I'm going to slow it down to speed it up. And so you don't have the fear of public speaking. You have the fear of being perfect. You have the fear of what other people think about you. But here's the thing. When you step on a platform, you got to understand, I'm not coming by myself. <laughs> I'm coming with the Holy Ghost. <laughs> I'm coming with the Father. And I'm coming with the Son. And whoever in that room, they about to get this work. And what I do understand is that by the time they leave it, whatever they came in with, that tormenting spirit can't barely sleep, depressed, anxiety out the roof, trying to figure out, yeah, I'm here, but I'm not here because I'm worrying about what's going on at home. That's all about to lift. Sir, come on. Because this is holy ground. This is this is the covenant that you're making. This ain't about no, yeah, you're gonna get your conscience on that, but don't get it twisted. You're not here for that. You're here because you need to get something. And it may not be from some of the speakers, it may be the person that you're sitting next to. Yeah. Somebody may say, man, I've been going through it so bad, sis, you don't understand, girl. My account been leaning on grace. I've been filling my car up with, with air, hoping I can get here. You gotta do what you need to do to get here, and I'm glad you're here because you have now stepped into the covenant that's about to change your whole down gone life. So, yeah. And so there's people out here outside these walls that are being tormented every single day because you have not picked up your heart. Because you're so focused on you. Well, God, what if, and God, what if, God, I gotta be, God never called you to be perfect. He called you to be consistent. Yeah, talk about will. Pick it. <laughs> no, he called you to be consistent. And I wanna let you know that consistency looks different for everybody else. Because not everybody can be consistent at a high level because not everybody's full time. Everybody got kids, right? So you gotta really